This month is all about headache prevention or how to modify a pose if you feel a headache coming on and maybe need to release some tension in your shoulders. So we're gonna talk about extended puppy and some variations that we can do on this pose. So the first one, if you are a little bit tight, you're gonna place a block about where your forehead's gonna be. And I like to curl my toes under, just I feel like it gives my hips some stability. Um, you don't have to. So we're gonna send the hands out and we're gonna keep the femur, the thigh bone as straight as we can here. Keep it nice and straight. I bring my head to a block because it feels better where we're keeping the elbows lifted. And so this really lengthens out those lats. It gets a nice stretch through here because a lot of times we get tense and we just think about here, but it's really the whole shoulder. So you don't have to use a block for your forehead if you don't want to. Um, this is, it's a little bit different of an angle um, and it's a little more intense, so I wouldn't necessarily do this one if I had a headache. So we're gonna place blocks here. Now if you need, you can place another block between them for your forehead. We're gonna bring our legs back to where we were and remember we're lengthening through the spine. So we're gonna start by bringing our hands down, forearms onto these blocks. Then we're gonna walk our triceps down onto them. Bring the hands into prayer position and lengthen through the spine. Then we press the hands together, press up elbows into the blocks. That one is a little bit trickier to come out of. It helps really to push the hands together to come out. So another variation of this, um, you can do it at a wall. And this one's a little bit less intense. So if we come up to the wall, and you could even do one side at a time. So you could be here, and then I'm, my feet are not next to the wall. I'm just sort of stretching and kind of leaning the hip away while keeping the spine as neutral as I can. So we're here kind of reaching the hand behind the head. You do want to be careful with this if you have shoulder issues. And then the other one we can do, and this is sort of like the standing variation of what we were doing with the blocks. I think it's easier to come out of because you have the wall, because you don't have to mess with the blocks. So you can even put the hands in clasp them together or bring here. And then you just kind of step the feet away, pulling the navel in, and then you would just press off the wall. So those are some different different options for a really nice pose and we can modify it to make it as intense or as easy as we want to.